more white man lives. Man, you can't be for my people, right. and you should be too. But no, you know what that is. You know what that represents. Let me ask you. Right, get it again. Say it again on camera. Bro. You know Say it what? one more time. No, Jesus no. wasn't black, and you are not a Jew. You see that? And in all That's of your nationality of that, that you are plotting, you, know you show no love to white people who is Edom. And the Bible tells you not to hate thy brother Edom. So with all of the black nationalism. That's great. You have some 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 spirit of to want to express yourself, but why not address the real issues in the black community? Why not address issues such as abortion? Because I don't I don't see y'all in front of abortion clinic. I don't see y'all uh, going against hip hop, going against that destructive music. I don't I don't see y'all okay, taking. So you do that. Now why you down here trying to ask them I'm questions? I'm just saying. If you really want to. Do you understand what that means? No, no, sorry. I'm here. Okay. So you want right, to tell me? Ahead. Explain it. We're going to explain. Go ahead. <laughs> it's talking about the southern and northern kingdom of the nation of Israel. That's so right. Flash the Native Americans and his family. That's what it's talking about. We, I will also gather all nations. He says he go, and this time he's going to gather all the nations free, and bring them down. Into the valley of Jehoshaphat. He's gonna gather all nations to bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Read. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. So the Most High God said he's gonna plead with the other nations for his heritage, Israel. Who is Israel? You, the black state of America, his family. That's, That's right. So the Most High God said he was gonna come back and make war with other nations for you. What, what, what foundation do you have that on the blacks? We'll show you. Uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Read. Whom they have scattered among the nations. So here goes part of it. He scattered us among the nations during slavery, read. And parted my land. And parted our home there between, between what about, what about the Palestinians. I'm going to show you. Between the Palestinians and what you call today Israelis or Jewish people. Well, what, what about I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, read. And they have cast lots for my people. And they have cast lots, meaning what? Like we just said, nigga, nigga sold to Master Johnson. Nigga, nigga sold to Master William. Casting lots for his people on auction block. That's right. right. And have given a boy for a harlot. Give it a boy for a harlot to breed more hey. slaves. Three. We're going to spay. Three. And so the girl for what? I'm going to get his question first than yours. Three. And so the girl for what? Three. If they might drink. Right. That's what they deal with our women. Sold them for wine that they might drink and they drink and sex to our women. Three. Yay. What have you to do with me? God is not the author of confusion. Exactly. He didn't come here to cause division between it, us and any other race. Brother, God is a God of you, all people. And what that's, do you God, have? that's what God means. Where's the Bible? Where's love. the Bible? Hey, to prove what you say. You can't take one scripture where's the Bible? and base an entire world off of that. Okay. God is, yes. We all know God died for all people. He said, what? Yes. No, you said that on the He said, God so loved the world. Give him a bite. Give him a bite. Give him a bite. Give him a bite. What has he to do with me? Like oh, Tyree and I'm Zidane. Here. All right, here we go. He said, what have you to do with me? Tyree and Zidane, two African nations. And all the coast of Palestine. And the Palestinians that's in our land today. He says, what have you to do with me? Free? Will you render me a recompense? He said, will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me, Quickly, and speedily, will I return so your recompense you upon your own head? head. Okay, so this is showing. I'm going to get you. Get you. See, look, y'all just talking. We're going to come out of the Bible. I'm, I'm going. Your yes, you can. Let me finish with him, and I got you. You ain't going to forget your question. Let me going to show you something. I know you don't want to hear it because y'all hate God law. That's right. We know that. We know you hate God law. Let me ask you a question. What's your question? What makes you say we hate God? I'm going to show you. What does this have to do with salvation? Give me what Christ said. Give me Matthew 19. That's right. Give me back to the next you, 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 I'm 
to show you how simple the Bible is when you study and you know what you're talking about. That's right. We're going to see what Christ says. Read on. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Hold on, hold on, brother. They trying to listen to the Bible right now. Bring it up. And behold, one came and said unto him, good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So the question that we all have. What, what must we do to have eternal life? What does this have to do with salvation? You said, what does this have to do with salvation? Read. And he said up to hell. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brother, you want to hear what Christ said or we're going to listen to you? Christ said, please explain. Let's go. And he said up to hell. Right. Christ is speaking. Read. That's right. What goes down me good? There's none good but one. That is God. So Christ said, there's none good but one, and that is God. Read. But if thou will enter into life. But if you want eternal life, if you want salvation, yes, sir. keep the commandment. No, do what? Keep the commandment. Christ said, keep the commandment. Keep the commandment. What are the commandments? Brother, there are over 600 commandments in the Bible. What are the commandments? You know the Exodus 20. I'll show you some commandments. No, matter of fact, give me Leviticus. Let me show you. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Read. They shall not make bondage upon their head. Hey, what? They shall not make bondage upon their head. Neither shall they take off the corner of their feet. So two commandments that you're breaking right now. You shall not make your head bald. And you shall not shave off the corner of your feet. That's right. The fact of the matter is, I didn't have a choice but to go bald. Brother, you can grow hair on the side. <laughs> and what, what, what does it say about going bald? What does it say? Brother, it says if you forehead bald, you clean. Right. So it says you can't shave So what about, right. what, about, what about the kids that uh, with the, when they were making fun of the bald prophet when God's judgment fell on? He was bald. He was bald. He, was he, bald. he didn't shave off Isn't his head. Isn't that what I just said? Yeah. Did Am I say? not naturally bald? Brother, we see your hair on the side of your head. What yeah, about that's my hair? Hey, hey, hey. Why you so into it? Give me numbers 1538. No. What you hear? Did he not come What you hear? Let me ask you a question. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if God's judgment... Hey, no, 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 no. Give me first as a man, as a man, as a man, I'm gonna talk and to you. Says, no, man, as a man, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you. Read this. Isaiah chapter 58. I'm gonna show you how much he ate the Bible because I'm gonna give him his answer out of the Bible. Read. Cry aloud. His question was, why are you speaking so loud? Because I'm a Christian, and my pastor don't speak like that. Read it again. Cry aloud. The Bible says, cry aloud. Say it loud. Don't spare their feelings. Right. Lift up that voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Oh, that's very loud. Read. And show my people that transgression. And show right. my Shut people up, that transgression. In the house of Jacob, there's sins. Oh, no, no, no. But what sins it's are you talking about? In the house of Jacob, wow, like there's sins. Said, so, what are we God. doing? We lift up our voice like God a trumpet for and showing you your iniquity. For what purpose? To get you deliverance. To get you salvation. For what? Deliverance I'm not, not going to argue. What, what are you delivering people? Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it up. The Bible answers all things, but when you don't study, you don't know. Right. 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 So, how do you know Wait, wait. How do I know you don't study? You have friends, you don't friends. You right. You're out here with a bald head. Right. You don't have no fight. Who's going to judge you about? Talk to God. Who's going to judge you? I didn't have a choice but to be bald. Who's going to judge you? Verse 68. Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So, first and foremost, he says, Blessed be the Lord God of the nation of Israel. That's right. For he has visited and redeemed his people. Read. And they're raised up in the horn of salvation for us. And the house of the servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. So he said, based on the prophecies, there will come a savior for the nation of Israel. You know. Which have been since the world began. Because in John 1, he tell you he was the beginning. Read. That we should be saved from our enemies. He said, saved from what? Read it again. That we should be saved from our enemies. Well, Christ said, I am coming to save you from your enemy. That's right. That's, that's what your face is. That's right. Well, who's the enemy? Why do you hate the Bible? Give me Psalms 83. No, no, you no, hate the Bible. You. That's right. Yo, I'm going to show you what the Bible says. That's right. That's right. You. you don't know the Bible. Because the you Bible don't know said, God. The Bible says the enemy. Jesus, Matter of fact, Jesus give me John. Your sins. Give me first John. What is your enemy? He saved you from your sins. He's going to save you from your enemy. Your sins. Read your sins, man. The Bible says you have been a Christian. There's only one truth. Luke chapter 1, verse 71. This brother is not me. That we should be saved from our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us. No, we should be saved from our sins. Please read it again. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we shall be saved from our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hand of all that hate us. That's right. 
We finna get the enemy. The we finna get the enemy. enemy. So you trying to tell me that I hate you? I don't even Bro, know you too hate you. You don't keep the commandments, you hate yourself. I'm keeping the commandments, God. Right. And that's why I'm out you here trying to save the commandments. Me. From the sin. What are the commandments? How many? Which one? We asked you that question with all the and commandments. And I gave you a commandment. No, they wasn't. No, it ain't. It came never, out of the Bible. It's not you never did. Foolishness. You can find the scripture anywhere to debate anything. Reasons. But the Bible says, First John okay. chapter three. But the Spirit make it alive. So hey, if you don't have the Spirit you can find of God, the scripture to debate you won't understand the scripture. The basic three. three. First John so chapter two. Verse 3, read. and hereby we do know him, that we keep his commandments. You say you know God. What, are the command, what commandments what are you talking again. about? And hereby we do know that we know he him. So if you say you know God, if we keep his commandments. It's only if you keep the commandments. Read. He that you said I know him, okay. and keepeth right. not his commandments. So he that said I know him, like y'all, and don't keep the commandments. How He's you a know liar. Me? Is a liar. You don't even know me. How you know I don't keep the commandments? And the truth. It's no. not in him. Yeah, the truth is not in him. How do I know? I'm going to give you a new Why testament. Why are you yelling? I'm going to give no. you a new Let's testament like, law. Let's to talk show like brother how man. ignorant you are when it comes Why to you? the Bible. Why you? Give me first Corinthians 11. Read First Corinthians chapter 11. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You know the Bible, right? You know the Bible, right? Can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. Why are you so Why are you so We just read that you're not answering the same question. Isaiah 58 tells you why. Hey, calm down. Isaiah 58 tells you why. I'm not bringing down nothing for you, brother. Look. You're not an adult. You're not a man. You don't right, keep right. God's commandments. That's that's right. Right. You're, not a man. You're not a man. You're not a man. You're not a man. What you keep you God's... I'm a man according to the Bible. I can't tell. Give me first kiss. You don't even I can't tell. tell. Read this. Please ask first, yourself. You nah, see that? I, mean, I, I know you want to go in. I got to have this. Young boys, man. Go ahead. Read this. First read. Give me. Give, please ask yourself. Bring it out. I'm going to show you how much. Bring it out. Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 7. Three. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. You see that? That's the difference between a man and a boy. Right. They look out here, they see oppression, and guess what? They don't get mad. Why? Because they comfortable in America. Right. They see the condition of our people and they don't do nothing about it. Right. Right. They not changing no lives with that false doctrine. Right. When you go into this Bible, it's clear instruction. Clear. Read it again. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. So to be mad, you have to be a wise man according to the Bible. That's right. That's right. But only a wise man will be mad. Read it again. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. No, it makes a fool mad. A wise man mad. No, it makes a dummy mad. A wise man mad. A wise man's going to be mad at the conditions of his people. That's right. Because right. this ain't about no one person. It's about our nation. That's right. Right. So why am I mad? Because my people. Look at my people. That's why I'm mad. I'm That's right. again. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Please. And a gift destroyeth the heart. A gift destroyeth the heart, meaning what? We've been given houses, good right. jobs, cars, whatever the hell you have. The Bible says those things destroy you. It's cursed? But the Bible's cursed, bro. Yes. You don't study, so you don't know that. Right. Read it again. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. And a gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the end of a thing that is beginning thereof. You got a couple of scriptures for you, but it's not beneficial. We are gonna teach something else. Say. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Give me, give me, you no, curse, give me, give me Isaiah one and three first. Okay, we're gonna hey, see. Give me Isaiah one and three. The Lord took me out the streets. Isaiah, this scripture's gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna help you. This is gonna help you at the same time. Isaiah, chapter one. Nothing changed about me. You don't know no. me, bro. Read. Verse you don't three. Know I know a man by his looks. Read. Right. The ox know of his owner. <laughs> the ox know of his owner. And the ass, his master's grill. What? And the ass, his master's grill. The Bible just said, I show his owner and a dumb man know his master's grill. But Israel do not know. But Israel don't know. Why? Because we're too busy following the white image of Christ. Because we're too, too busy worshiping the white man. Right. That's why we don't know who we are. That's why we destroyed. God said, show us the scriptures. Show us the scriptures. Show us the scripture. First Peter 2 and 22. Show us the scripture that read, read says he's for all people. You didn't answer my question about cursing, bro. First Peter 2 and 22. Bro, we read the scripture. You too busy talking. I'm telling Peter 2 and 22. That's about cursing. We don't care about you. That's not going to. That's your scripture. That's talking about cursing on your brother. That's your scripture. That's talking about cursing on your brother. You don't know it because you ain't reading it. You 
bring it, bro. We got other stuff to bring. First Peter 2 and 22. Three. He committed no but sin us, no and no dishonor. And he asked no God to not his mouth. No but Israel do not know. So again, it says, he and, us, it. and us know of his honor. Wanna, you don't want to read ass, the script. You want to read what your sheep, what your sheep. And ask his master's crib. And ask his master's crib. Exactly. Exactly. You Bring it out. Yes, this that's the whole point. Out of all this foolishness, this sister understood more than you understood this whole time. You just want to yell, but you don't want to listen. You can't teach nothing. This is false. I'm telling you, you want to even read the script. You can't teach nothing. You can't teach nothing. I'm going to read the script. I'm going to read the script. 1 Peter 2 and 22. I'm going to read the script. 1 Peter 2 and 22. We're going to read the script. 1 Peter 2 and 22. 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 Every man, green or both of them, every man is hold on, I don't care what you look at. Hey, here you go. Hey, hey, you know, I don't know what you look at. I feel hey, him, bro. I don't know what he's saying. Hey, 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 let me show you how much you know what he said. No, I'm not. I'm not believing nothing what he said. I'm going to show you something. No, I don't believe nothing what he said. Every man praying to prophesy, come out of his Bible like the man with the hat on. I don't believe nothing what he said. Heaven is head covered. Heaven is head covered. Dishonor is his head. Who's the man's head? Satan. 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 The head of every man is Christ. The Bible just said every man praying or prophesying, you coming out of the Bible with scriptures and you got your head covered, you do what? Dishonor his head. He dishonored his head. Now, watch this. Give me up, Daniel. This sister, sister want to know the image of God in Christ, all right? This I want to know how y'all know God is black. We're going to show you. We're going to show you. Sister, are you going to listen? Are you going to listen? We know you love white Jesus, but we're going to show you the real image. You hear me? Tell you. Chapter 7. Hey, bro, that's how she ever knew. I know why. I'll be held to the throne for cast down. And the ancient of days. Hold on, hold on. Sister, how can you listen if you're talking? I don't care. Hey, you can't listen. How you gonna ask a question, but you don't care? I ask a question. I say, how do y'all know God is black? Read it. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I be held to the thrones were cast down. He said I be held to the throne were cast down. Let's talk about the other kingdoms. Read. In the ancient of days did sit. In the ancient of days did sit. Before time, before day. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. Whose garment was white as snow. Read on. In the hair of his head. In the hair of his head. Like the pure wool. Like the what? Like the pure wool. Like the pure wool. Like the pure wool. Now give me Christ. Where is he black? Where is he? Revelations. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the first thing he says is that his head and his hairs were white. And then the second thing that it said that it was like wool. White wool. No, no. Read, we're going to show you. And it's, and it's, and it's white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were a flame of fire because he drank wine. Read. And his feet like unto fine grass. And his feet were like fine grass, like your color. But read on. As if they burned in a fire. He said he was so dark, it looked like he burned in a fire. That's, right. That's how we know. That's us. We, we ain't out here to play games with nobody. They can worship white Jesus all they want. We know what the Bible says. That's right. It's not worshiping the white Jesus. It is about. Give me John 4. Whatever you make him in. That's not, what the, that that's 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 not what the Bible says. You must go according to what it says. Hold on, hold on. One question. Number one, last time I checked, it might say the description, but does that mean he got wool here? Who? Anything can happen. Anything can be wool. Brother, it goes back to our seeds. But I'm saying, but you don't understand. Well, I don't understand. That there's not just blacks in this world. We understand that there's not just blacks in this world. What does that mean? Why does it matter what Hold on. What, what, what makes what makes you John chapter anybody? seven and verse thirty eight. He that like, believeth on me, me, read it again. He that believeth on me, read. as the scripture saith. No, as I believe in what I want to make up. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, 
Read. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. They're not even listening. What did he say? What did he say? The only thing the Caucasian man fucking What did he say? 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 But other than that, they don't mean that. They believe it on me. So the Bible says he didn't believe it on me. As the scripture had said. As the scripture had said. The scripture said he was a black man from the tribe of Judah. That he had an earthly father. That's what the Bible says. So it says he didn't believe it on this Christ as the Bible has said. Read. Out of his bellies shall be shall flow rivers of living water. Out of his belly shall flow. Shall flow what? Shall flow rivers of living water. What are those rivers? Living water. It's the word of God. Word. When you go to Ephesians 5, it tells you that. I don't got nothing. Okay, so why y'all why teaching us something different from what we learn in the Because they don't teach the truth. Give me Ezekiel 3 and 11. I'm going to show you. What you're to I'm a, you ain't got to listen. Go to your. Go to I'm just asking a question. I'm going to so give you an answer. Why we can't listen to what they're saying? I'm black people for you. They don't say. I mean, they stiff neck and rebellion. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 11. Listen, sister. This, this is what they're not telling you this in the church. These people don't pray. It ain't going to deliver. And go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Keep them the same way. This stuff don't change life. Only Jesus Christ changes. It don't matter what color he is. Okay, we're going to see what you're saying. The Bible says, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are changed. He said, you can teach he said this Christ to a crackhead, and he'll still be on crack. Read. You can teach this to Saul. a fornicator, he'll still let him fornicate. Seven, the law of the Seven Lord. Lord. Listen, sis. Do you have a Bible in his hand? He's just talking out of his mouth. It doesn't matter if you have a Bible Read. or not. The, the law of the, of the Lord is perfect. Bring it up. Converting the soul. It says the law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. Oh, That's right. right. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. Read it again. The law. This is for you. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. It says the law of the Lord is perfect. That's right. Converting the soul. Changing. Converting the soul. You can Christ himself. Said, Christ himself said, you, Christ himself said you have to have hope. And I'm going to prove it. Give me revelation. I'm going to show you don't know this Bible, man. You don't know the Bible, man. You don't know the Bible. Read it. Revelation chapter 14. Verse 12. Verse 12. I don't like this. Here is the I don't like patience of the saints. Okay, now here's Revelation. This is the last me. book of the Bible. No. Let's see what it says in the Bible. Read. Here is the patience of the saints. Here, hold on, sister. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. Sister, you heard him. He said only Christ, right? But Christ himself, when he came, he said it's two things you need. And what were those two things, Mr. Pastor? He's the Holy Ghost. You, the Holy Ghost is what? The Lord. The power of God. You're a fool. You don't know the Bible. Read. This. Here is the patience. Of the same. Acts 1 and 8. Here are Jesus they that keep the commandments of God the and what? Upon you. In the faith yeah. of Jesus. You see that? It says, here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Christ. You can't just say, I believe in Christ and don't keep the commandments. Because the Bible is redundant, fool. Yeah, you're a fool. When you don't believe in God, the Bible says you're a fool. When you hate instruction, the Bible says you're a fool. Give me Proverbs 1. Y'all simple. Y'all simple. You know what the Bible says? There is no truth in name chapter 1, verse 21. A man might be saved. Other than the name of Jesus, she Christ. What, what, no is matter his, what, what is his name? Jesus Christ. No, what is his name according to the Bible? Matthew 1 and 21. You know what I say? A virgin shall be the son. You see this? We ask shall the call his name Jesus. We don't just go out of here. We don't prove people it. Read. Revelation chapter, chapter 19 and verse 12. What does his name read? His eyes were as a flame of fire. We're talking about the same image we've been talking about. Read. And on his head were many crowns. Because he was the king of kings. Read. And he had a name written thereon. And he had a name for the people who were unlearned. What was his name? Hey, that no Matthew man knew it by himself. Read. Read Matthew 1 and he was. And his clothes were the best with a vesture. Verse 13. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Read. And his name is called the Word of God. His name is what? The Word of God. What do you find? What do you find in the Word of God? His laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. That's what you find. Can y'all read Matthew 1 and 21? We'll read it. We'll read this first. See? Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. Read. How long? Verse 20. Verse 20. Read. Verse 20. 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 Verse of concourse, wisdom crying in the chief place of concourse. In the openings of the gate. Read. In the city, she utters her word. Wisdom utters her, her voice in the city while people are. Read on, read on. Say, how long will ye simple ones? How long what? 
How long will ye simple? How long will you simple ones? Will ye love simplicity? How long will you follow after that fake image of Christ and that damn abomination of a cross? Right. right. And those false doctrines of men. Right. right. How long will you be simple? Right. 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 And then it's corners, no. the light and the scorning. Read. And fools. And who? And fools. And fools. Hate knowledge. Fools hate knowledge. That's right. Fools hate knowledge. Read. 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 Hey, hey, the sinner. Let's read it again so everybody can Just understand. Thank you. For the most high, hated sinner. Read it again. For the most high, hated sinner. Read it again. For the most high, hated sinner. This is what people that actually read the Bible, this is what they do. They hear God's word, then they apply God's word. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom. A day has to start somewhere. Which day is the first day of the week? The first day of the week is, is Sunday. That's what I'm telling you. The first, you can Google it. You can look on the calendar. Sis. Sis, you can Google it. You can look on the calendar. Your friendly neighborhood white man, Esau. Read that again. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. From the Lord. So the white man, your friend, sought to hide his counsel from the Lord. And he did that in slavery. Go ahead. And their works them, are in the and dark. And he separate, the said the Lord, way. and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. So the Bible requires us to stay separate and stay amongst ourselves. And that's how you become, you're able to establish an economy. When you stay to yourself, look out, for, look, out for, look out for yourself and for people who look like yourself, your people, who are to be the Israelites. That's how Israel rolled.